going to first talk about the snowstorm. Uh, I know how frustrated people are. I, I'm frustrated too. I'm frustrated as a New Yorker who was stuck in traffic like so many other people were. I'm frustrated as mayor of the city that uh, for so many reasons, uh, people didn't get what they should have had last night. In truth, this was a kind of perfect storm. It emerged bigger and later than anyone expected. Obviously affected the whole tri-state area in a very severe way. We are trying to learn some lessons and figure out what we can do better. So the first thing we're going to do is there will be a full audit uh, review of everything that happened with the city agencies. We're also going to sit with our state partners because everyone is connected here, MTA, Port Authority, everyone. We all have to work it through together. Do you have some reports on the children that were stuck in buses? The central concern I have is that we have, uh, as a city, uh, done well when we can get information out to people early and in a clear way. We don't do as well when we don't uh, get information to folks. This one is tough because the information broke so late, and I, I do think in retrospect we could have tried to say at 1 p.m., let's say, we're, we're headed for a much bigger situation, go home immediately, you know, uh, uh, leave work early. That might have helped. I think, unfortunately, to some extent, the die was cast by that point. People had already brought their cars into the city. I, might have had a, I think it had a helpful effect, but I'm not sure it would have averted uh, the essence of what we went through. We were planning for a one-inch event, which is going to be primarily our salt spreaders. Um, we did add plows to that in the late morning when we start to get got rumblings that maybe something else would happen. Um, at that point in time, our staffing going into the afternoon was allowing us to go up to about 700 plows. We can, when we get very, very big, our, our biggest number for a blizzard would be about 1,600. I don't think it's fair to say that the city agencies could have stopped all of this. It's just I'm not going to do that because I think that's just too convenient. You know, if people want to blame city agencies on something that they literally could not have stopped, I'm not going to be party to that. Am I frustrated? Do I want to make sure this never happens again? Absolutely. Yeah. 